Hey there everyone, this is Seb and uh, we're back again with some more tape loading. I hope you guys have had a great day, a great week even, because it's been so long already. And that we have a great time together again. Um, seems like uh, Ben's already in the chat, that's great. And we have a moderator for any uh, spamming and such. And also the Pirate Gamer Boy, uh, really cool to see you go man. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yeah. I've, uh, I've got my beer here, which has already gone flat, of course, obviously. Um, do take a nice little drink yourself, as we are exploring the library of games here shortly. Um, the beer of choice today is a uh, Lohenbrau, which is a uh, lovely little Pilsner from Germany. Um, I'm, I'm by no means, by the way, a beer connoisseur or anything. I just like to have a little uh, beer now and then and uh, sometimes enjoy them and try different things which sometimes leads to really dis disgusting stuff as well but this one is, is really nice uh, so that's great um, how have you guys been been a good week for you uh, for me it's been a bit yeah <laughs> I might uh, go over some things as we go yeah T is good too, Ben. T is good too. Um, as 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 nice as beer can be, um, obviously it has its downsides. Ah, great. Yeah. Um, hope everyone is having a good week. Uh, we are going to play some games. I have this time. I have got um, seven games over here although I'm not sure if we're going to go through all of them because last time it, it went on a bit too long for me honestly um, so we'll see what we can do uh, and I also found two mystery tapes which I'm not really sure what's on it so that can't be good Ed really good to see you thank you very much for being here Ed is always a bit of my backup nowadays and Ed also helps me a lot with uh, the editing and of course Ed if you can't make it that's a shame but very understandable because uh, you know that commenting on those races that takes a lot out of you I mean I do this these streams for just two hours and I beat so <laughs> I can't imagine like this such a long race to communicate commentate over um, that that must take a lot out of you anyway um, let's uh, switch it over to the game station here and uh, load up the first game which I should also let's see what um, yeah there we go turn on the old Commodore 64 and uh, load up the first game here which we didn't do last week which is vampire so let's uh, let's see this uh, this tape will actually load And of course, I didn't uh, rewind this. Uh, welcome, man. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to show you. I'm not an expert on the Commodore 64 myself. I grew up with it, but uh, I know how to play a game on it. That's basically it. Did I, did I put it? No, I did put it in the right way. It's just all the way to the back. Um, the C64 doesn't need tapes. It also has diskettes or floppies. Um, but most of my collection is on tapes, which takes a long time to load. So. It's great to have some people over to have a little bit of chat here. I actually... Forgot... Well, we can do this later. So anyway, to load a game on the Commodore 64 on tape, uh, you actually have to just type in the command load or 
press shift and the run stop key as a, sh as a bit of a early shortcut I suppose and then you press play on tape which is uh, quite a famous uh, saying <laughs> there's quite a bit of t-shirts pressed with press play on tape uh, let's see because I forgot something uh, which uh, is unfortunate uh, way to prepare set um, because I want to see my thing full screen otherwise there we go uh, now the tape is actually passed because the Commodore 64 sends out a signal to the tape player uh, to the tape deck like uh, uh, okay I found something and oh okay okay so so call me a liar why don't you fine <laughs> normally you just press space and then it will continue on but for some reason this one decided to move on without me uh, intervening okay so this is uh, vampire from codemasters uh, I think if I remember correctly I'm not too sure that doesn't look too promising um, this is a like one of those early platforming games like Jet Set Willy and such where you go explore a place and you have to collect all the stuff and they tend to be very very difficult uh, anyway I will see if I can uh, read something off the back and yeah I need to use my phone to actually read this stuff so it might look a bit weird but uh, that's, uh, that's how it is Brock the Brave has returned to um, to earth to find and destroy the evil Count Dracula in his uh, eerie castle 90, yeah, 95 deadly rooms so yeah that's 95 uh, uh, screens where you have to uh, go through it's kind of weird that an alien has to come here and get rid of uh, Dracula for us but uh, you know I guess the Belmonts were out this night let's see what do we have here Yeah, I don't know that uh, that that reference to the tape at all. But yeah, tapes were a real cultural thing here, uh, uh, or well, everywhere basically. So a lot of uh, sayings came from tapes and such, and uh, it's quite interesting tech. And I must say, it held up better than I expected. Although this screen so far is not looking very promising, <laughs> but uh, we'll see what we can do to destroy vampire. Travel through Dracula's castle of 95 eerie rooms collecting food as your energy is drained by his evil friends to destroy Count Dracula you must find the five keys and fit them into their five locks into first inverse keys I'm not sure why that is in brackets um, to receive one of the keys an object must be found to fix the pedal powered generator enabling you to leap the vast chasm yeah this is basically like what the, those early collector funds where you have to go through all over the place and collect all the little knobs and, and pieces and um, usually that is very very difficult because it involves some precise platforming but we'll see how uh, things will go uh, this one did speak about energy, so that makes me believe that it's not actually one hit kill, which most of them are. One must also open the six magical shutters by tripping the appropriate switches. Then collect the hammer and stake and go to the top of the castle to get the cross. Now you will be teleported to deep space for your final confrontation using laser bolts and jetpack thrusters. Wait, what? <laughs> so why are you collecting all this crap on Earth? If in the end you defeat Dracula... Wow, that, that took a turn. <laughs> hey, welcome, uh, fat Dutch guy. Uh, great to see you. Well, not see you, but hear you. <laughs> oh wow, there's actually a bit of historical background here. Which starts with the year 
2987. <laughs> Brock the Brave found himself on the high security planet Hawk, Hawk, Hawkland. His life had turned into a, da a daily routine of synthetic drugs and psychological sessions. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it done? Is it loading? Or is it crashing? I'm afraid it's crashing, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Things have changed indeed. Yeah, this one is crashing. Unfortunately, we are going to try the back side of this tape because sometimes the tape, um, the game is placed on both sides. Is it on the way back? So let's test that hypothesis here and see if we can find it. Griso is not happy. Uh, you might hear him on the background. I'm hearing him in the background. He had had some milk and trying to appease him, but uh, yeah, he's not having it. It was a bit, uh, it was not enough, I'm afraid. Yesterday he had a nice uh, bit of lamb's heart. So, you know, sometimes you need to make a little sacrifice for the beast. <laughs> but, uh, ah, there we go. Here we go. Yeah, Kitty's not happy. But, uh, you know, he's normally not happy. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's a good kitty, but he's always a hungry kitty. Well, the, the, the big problem with these uh, cassette tapes, well, some also holds true for music tapes, but uh, these commercial tapes tended to be the lowest quality of tapes, where, um, especially when people made mixtapes and such, those tapes were tended to be of higher quality, so they last a bit longer. Um, but I must say, you know, these, these tapes are like almost 40 years old, and they still load. Um, this if this one will not load it will be the first one and uh, it would be a poor start but as you see just turn it around and that's basically why they put them on both sides to prevent this kind of stuff from happening and sometimes you know the commodore 64 it's it's a it's it's a bit of a uh, a picky beast like i remember sitting in the 80s and you load the tape up and you were just you were just getting clear of the desk because any slight touch of the desk could just send the thing out in, in, in just doing nothing. Yeah, I have a... Um, <laughs> In my in my uh, last actual video, I got, I went over the uh, the mister and trying to put a tape recorder on that, and that turned out to be quite difficult um, in the end. I know it's possible; some people have had great results with it, but I've not been able to make it work, unfortunately. And uh, Griso is now on his way over here, so uh, prepare for carnage. <laughs> He's. Uh, He's inspecting the microphone and the camera, like what, what's all this stuff on my desk? Because everything is a cat's, you know, it's, there's nothing mine here, it's all his um, belongings. But yeah, getting the, the, the mister to actually retapes, that would be a great thing. So you can um, um, take out the Commodore 64 out of the equation. I think we should be almost loaded now. Don't you dare step on the run stop button. <laughs> he always wants a snack maybe we will get a snack maybe I should um, I, I think that's possible maybe I should try and uh, fix some, some chat comments at some point where people can actually uh, give him a, a snack like when uh, a, a certain command is input like five times you get a certain snack I don't know if that's uh, workable but it should be don't throw everything off <laughs> I 
Yeah, but he is a, he is a good kitty, but uh, oh boy. If he goes hungry, there'll be words and a lot of meowing. Are we still moving? Yeah, we're still moving. Come on, man, don't, don't show your ass to everyone. <laughs> it's always a matter of time and it, 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 it... Last week he was like such a nice cat sleeping on the table in the back and now somehow he turned out right away. But oh well. Um, for actually playing, if we get to that point uh, at least, I actually got out this, uh, this quick shot uh, um, joystick. It's less clicky, but I don't like it as much, so I, I can't promise that I will keep using it the entire stream, because it, it, it's very mushy, which does help with the clicks, um, and also these buttons, they are so... There's, there's no feedback on them at all, so it just doesn't feel great. How about you go over here, and you go... I hear something. I hear music. I hear music. We've got a game here. Why can't you be like a dog where I just say down and you go down? Oh, did we already start? Wait, what? Uh, excuse me? Okay. Uh, press fire to play and it's not working. Obviously, it needs to be in the uh, different port then, I suppose. There we go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that one works. Yay, and up is actually jump. And yeah, I guess we need to collect all of the, um, the sparkly things, like in the top there. And there is a health bar. That's good, because as I said, usually these kind of games, they are... Oh, okay, and there's arrows. Usually these kind of type of games have like a, uh, a one-hit kill, which is very annoying. Uh, because these these type of games they are so difficult and yeah that jump is a bit unwieldy as well because there is no real um, like you can't really change your direction midair it seems which uh, you know makes him feel like a Belmont I suppose I'm not sure if this is probably a ZX Spectrum port. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Codemasters did do a lot of ZX Spectrum stuff. And usually their games were on uh, multiple systems as well. So I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and, uh, but you know, for um, uh, if, if this is on a ZX Spectrum, it would be nice because it really takes... Uh, it, it, it does have that look about it, doesn't it? With the color clashing and taking uh, that into consideration. Like, if you go the other way, there's a big thing. Is that the food? Uh, if you go the other way, like many Commodore 64 games... And we're already dead. Great. Let's, uh, let's give that another go. Uh, like many of those other Commodore 64 games being ported to the ZX Spectrum, they, those would turn out terrible because it did not take care of the color clashing at all and it just looks terrible. A tank. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, it looks... It looks. Can we actually get out here now? Because it does look like a, a Spectrum game. I have li very little... Um, experience with the spectrum at all. I think we're stuck here. I think this is one of those <laughs> evil 80s trolley traps. <laughs> yep. Okay. Let's get killed and try that again. Don't just randomly drop into a hole, I suppose. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this. No, don't. Like, this joystick is very finicky. I don't like it. But, uh, you know, all joysticks are kind of finicky. Um, I'm not sure what this little trinket does, actually. But might as well get it. Because it's one thing that I actually can grab. You know, it's, uh, it's not many of those, I think. <laughs> okay, let's try over here. Whoa. Yeah, I... 
it, it, it would be nice to explore sometimes uh, the ZX Spectrum more. Um, I've been checking out a stream from uh, um, uh, uh, Hippie Ginger Gaming, is that uh, the right name? I'm sorry, I'm so terrible with names. And he was showing off the, the ZX Spectrum, the next, um, which is kind of a celebration of the Spectrum and also allows you to program some new type of games in that vein. And that looks actually really cool to uh, as a device to explore the old ZX Spectrum and also... Oh crap. <laughs> and also explore some new indie games uh, through that. Because he showed off some really cool, uh, cool stuff with that and I... Had heard of the system, just never really saw it in action much. Oh, don't walk into the uh, enemies and walk with them, Seb. It's just bad news. It seems like if we pick up that thing, it will destroy the wall. Um, but, well, yeah, th this this uh, jumping is very insensitive. Um, just hard to control. With, with again, it, it makes sense for a vampire killing uh, game, you know. The Belmonts are known for their uh, air maneuverability either. Let's just um, say that uh, with <laughs> some grace. Uh, okay, so upstairs was death. I'm pretty sure to the right is not much different because we are already pretty much dead. There is food there. Doesn't look too hard to get it. <laughs> Yeah, the 8-bit uh, computers had some really, really uh, fun things. Uh, like, uh, many of the ports were kind of the same, but also a lot of games just had this, this, like the the Commodore 64 had its own style, the ZX Spectrum had its own style, the Amstrad had its own style, uh, the Atari had its own style. Um, I have a bunch of Atari 8-bit uh, computers as well. Yeah, this game is it's not bad. It, it, it's, uh, it's pretty good and it... What I like about the game is just the health bar. What I don't like is the jumping, but that might just be the joystick. Or just getting used to it, because, you know, right now I'm not doing too bad. Um, but yeah, the health bar is, is a huge win compared to many of these uh, uh, same games. Oh no, don't, don't go into the pit of death. <laughs> We've already been there. Let's go up here. And we need to collect this thing. And then... I don't get it. You can kind of control the jumps mid-air. But kind of not once you... I mean, he has more maneuverability than the Belmonts. Than Simon. That's for sure. Okay. Let's see if we can actually uh, move to that food and actually hold down a bit longer. I don't like that thing underneath there. Um, let's go. There we go. Uh, and let's just wait until they've gone now. Let's let, let, let them pop up, whatever the heck those are. Okay, now we jump here and then we jump here. We've got that. Did that give us an extra life? I think it gave us an extra life. That's good. Because we're about to lose one. Oh, there we go. Well, wait to demonstrate that step. How do I get that? Um, there is a key there. Can you stand on the yellow thing? But even so, that blue thing is going to be a big pain in the ass. Oh boy, get out. We need to collect... How many keys were it? Six? I can't even collect a freaking one. And we missed it. Yeah, can't go like so. Can we jump from the green? No, it's probably going to bunk our head. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that yellow thing did not uh, drain our energy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go. Don't. So I suppose we can stand on that and collect that key. So let's uh, let's give that a go, I suppose. There we go. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, do I need something else before I can actually collect the key? Ah, oh, this is great. This is just great. And I don't mean my, uh, my, my skills here. Those are not great at all. Those are fairly terrible. <laughs> uh, there was death here in, as well. So I suppose we go up then. Let's see. And over here, I suppose we can go to the right real quick. And there's some more food. I like the food. And can we get... Oh, this is... That, that's another trap. It looked like a sparkly thing. But yeah, I should have known because you can't jump out of there. Oh boy. Love those old trolley, uh, trolley bits from the old creators there. Um... Yeah, let's uh, let's move on to a new game here because uh, we've been playing this one for quite a bit. Let's uh, be kind and rewind. Quite a nice game, I must say. It's uh, yeah, I I don't remember this one at all, uh, but it looks like a game I could get into uh, back then, like exploring the the the, the place. And you know, it's kind of interesting to also see this come back. We got like in the eight bit consoles, we saw more. Uh, platformers that were linear and as um, as times moved on we got now more to the indie games where you see more non-linear games again uh, where you have to actually explore things so yeah this game uh, works pretty cool and now we are going to one which I do remember and I actually like this a lot which is uh, Death Race um, and this is uh, from Atlantis, we've, which we saw last week. And this is also, like the other games we saw, a blatant recreation of a uh, arcade game. And uh, let's see if you guys can figure out which one it is. It's not hard. Once you see the first screen, you immediately know what it is. If it will load, of course. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, this seems to be a later release, like the previous one, they were all yellow. Um, should I show the... Yeah, of course I should show the screenshot, so now you can actually see what game it is. <laughs> or supposed to be. Let's see uh, what it actually says. Let's see... What do we have? Um, drive a speed up to 300 miles per hour through town and country, day and night, to overtake the 70 cars that left you stalled on the starting grid. Your reaction will need to be like lightning, as the slightest mistake will mean instant death. No pressure. <laughs> this one uh, seems to load nicely. Huh, Death Race 64, huh? Didn't think the uh, 64 uh, um, bit at the, bar at the end wasn't too common at the uh, Commodore 64, although there were some, I suppose. Is there anything else, or is it just more... Uh, nah, it's just how to load the controls, joystick in either port. Left and right, and what port did I put it now? I think it's now in, stuck in port 1. Usually, games actually work in uh, port 2. Uh, that uh, that text gibberish looks less promising. <laughs> it uh, it kind of went corrupt on us. Oh well. Forward to accelerate, back to brake, fire to change gear, P to pass, restart the game. Oh yeah, this one had to change in gears, and if I remember correctly, once you do, you're pretty much dead. Uh, game. You have 80 seconds to overtake as many cars as you can. Drive at speeds up to 300 miles per hour, trying to avoid the other cars as they sur swerve across your path. If you manage to overtake 70 cars without crashing, oh, losing your free lives, Play is extended. Uh, this is not going to happen. But this time 
uh, you have only 60 seconds. Each extended play gives you an extra life and bonus score. There are two levels of difficulty, easy and hard. To select required level, press F1 whilst on the title screen. Uh, let's remember that, because if it's on hard, I definitely need to put it on uh, easy. Uh, sorry, Ben, I did not catch what you said there. Um, this is actually... Now the games are yours as well? Jesus. The text seems to have reset itself. That's nice. No, position. I, I only hear it sounds, li uh, sounds like position. Uh, but I'm assuming you mean pole position. I think some of the chat is actually going to getting eaten up by the uh, TTS um, because some words appear to be missing. Yeah, th no, this is not uh, pole position. This is uh, F1. Let's see. Um, this is a clone. I, I don't see difficulty level hard. No, easy. Uh, this is a clone of. Well, let's let me let's see if you know it now. Um, okay, so now we are at 150. Let's uh, speed it up. Speed it up. There we go. And now, uh, okay, yeah, I remember now. This is this is so hard. This game is also very well known on the uh, ColecoVision, uh, with, which comes with a steering wheel, which I actually have, and it's really fun to play, actually. Nope, it's not Outrun. Keep on guessing. It's it's a it's a fun game. Although this this version is not as good as the original, and we already did. I don't. Now pole position is this Formula One car. You know they uh, they don't drive around in cities. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my poor excuse. Of course, it's kind of inspired by pole position. Pole position came first, uh, I think at least. Uh, but this is actually based on Turbo. And yeah, they didn't really have original names back then. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of kind of nice uh, too, you know, just a simple game. Well, what kind of game is it? Well, it's Turbo, it's a racing game, what do you expect? <laughs> and uh, yeah, Turbo on the uh, ColecoVision is really fun, uh, fun as well. And uh, probably a better rendition of this uh oh crap a better rendition of the game than this one and that was also a um a, an official release by sega i think on the coleco and this is just i'm not actually sure about what if atlantis had any actual um allowance for making these type of games because the last time we had the pac-man and the uh crap i still forget I forgot to look up the name of that other game, but yeah, the rolling uh, pin thing, and uh, this one as well. And they are uh, so much like the actual arcade games that it's it's uncanny. Like it's pretty much a carbon copy. Are you kidding me? From behind, dude. <laughs> That's my job. Oh crap. Uh, yes, yeah, some of the chat is getting cut out. That's quite annoying. I'm not sure what uh, what that said, uh, 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 McDonald. Uh, but something about the colors on the game, and they are uh, they are vibrant. Uh, that's what what I see. Yeah. Uh, for those not knowing, uh, I I I can't read the chat as I are play uh, am playing games. If I need to read the chat, I basically need to put my face in the screen. Uh, and you know my screen's not that tasty, so I try to have it uh, read out loud. Um, but yeah, that does still have some <laughs> bits that I need to get used to. Also, the usernames tend to get jarbled up a bit, unfortunately. But we're getting uh, we're getting a bit better at it, aren't we? Nope. He says a secret. I didn't even get to the tunnel. I know there is a tunnel in this game. 
Or is that only in the original? I know, I'm pretty sure there is a tunnel and there is night time. This, this, this used to be one of my favorite games, just as a quick fun. It also doesn't take too long to load. Um, but yeah, it is, it is really difficult. And this is on easy. Why aren't you shifting up? Come on, shift. Did I shift up and then shift down? There we go. And I crashed right away. Typical. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's actually better to just stay in the low gear. But then again, you need you only have so much time, don't you? Let, let, let's just try it out, I guess. See how this goes. Yeah, this is too slow. We're not going to pass seventy. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe in the, indeed someone uh, reading out through Discord or something like that. That would also possibly help. Um, but it's also, you know, it's probably something to do with the settings as well. And just finding the correct voice and such. Um, you know, just just testing, testing, testing. Um, you know, it's. I try to break. I try to break. I never break. Seth never breaks during a racing game. But yeah, it's just, uh, you know, getting used to things and uh, eventually it should work out. And, uh, you know, for a second stream, it's not bad. <laughs> I expected more things to explode, to be honest. Um, so let's, uh, let's try this out. Um, I'm also actually, uh, um, I did, because some people have a preference for Twitch, I did look on uh, Twitch. And I saw that some dude already named Half Blind Gamer had an account there. Yeah, uh, it seems like the chat. I'm using a program f to read the chat out, which is called Sheep uh, Chat. Uh, which <laughs> I don't want to imply you people are all che sheep, but <laughs> the program does. I can't help it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's I. I try to now. Uh, put that into the video stream as well and that seems to make emojis and I need to figure out how to um, get rid of that and just have people you know what you say is uh, put out there but yeah I, I saw this dude half blind gamer on uh, on Twitch and it turned out to be me <laughs> it uh, I made the account at some point I don't know why I don't remember doing that ever but apparently I did so uh, you know I have a, a twitch account and I think it shouldn't be too much harder to just dual stream uh, next time uh, but yeah if, since Ed was uh, not sure if you could uh, get in today at all I was uh, not going to just risk that because it would be great to have some backup when I do something uh, through twitch as well because uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not very much into streaming myself. I have very little experience with it, so I have basically no clue what I'm doing. And the uh, the Twitch uh, thing, see, I knew there was a tunnel. The Twitch thing is kind of scary, you know. <laughs> So uh, we'll, we'll see if we can make it work and uh, that's the beauty of uh, the sheep uh, chat program as well because it can actually collect both the chats from Twitch and YouTube together and uh, read them out loud and also intersperse them into the actual stream itself. Um, and, you know, it's just for convenience if someone actually wants to prefer Twitch as a viewing uh, platform. Uh, I think some people will prefer it, uh, for example, when uh, watching a stream on mobile. Uh, then you can do that, but not now, not not yet, but next time, perhaps. Uh, what this game does not have, and the original uh, does, is um, corners. Although calling them corners is a bit of a uh, <laughs> a stretch because they uh, basically the 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 the, the thing just gets slightly tilted and that's you know your corner and uh, but yeah that, that that run went fine i think we should stop at a uh, good part let's uh, let's save my uh, high score here oh crap i hate the keyboard of the commodore um seb there we go 
the Commodore uh, keyboard is actually great, but I, I, I can't see the lettering, you know, so I have to um, feel it. And there is just a couple more keys here and the notches on the, the, the F and the J. Uh, if they were on there, they're not on there anymore. <laughs> and uh, let's uh, reset here. And this game is one of those games that locks you into everlasting gameplay because they don't let you reset it. But yeah, awesome game. I like it. Although it's not very original. It's just Turbo on the Commodore 64. Yeah, and that's just a smiley once again, isn't it, Ben? Because I don't hear anything. <laughs> uh, that's, that's really annoying. I, that wasn't the case last time. And the only thing I think I changed is... Uh, no, wait. I actually changed it to something. I can quickly... Ah, be right back. Okay, see you in a bit. And here's another game we are going to test. And as it's loading, there is one thing I think I can do to actually change it. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Collapse. It's also... I remember it... I remember the case for being one of my favorite games. I remember it being a single screen platforming thing, but I don't remember quite how to play it correctly. I think it was kind of a platformer slash puzzle kind of game. Um, and what I do remember, and, 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 and if someone in the chat would like to link that, that would be great. But I do remember this game. This is actually the re-release. And the first issue of this game has some of the worst, absolute worst cover art ever produced. And uh, yeah, someone should uh, look it up and just... Uh, link that in the chat and have a collective laugh at it because it's 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 awesome <laughs> Of course, I didn't uh, Wind it back So yeah, let's uh, load this one up and see what we get and I think I can actually uh, Go in here And change the one thing that I did change I tried to use a different voice which actually has a allowance and I think if I just set it to my system which isn't as nice but I think doing this will actually uh, read stuff out as it is coming in so we'll see how that goes and yeah let's uh, press space on that uh, you can actually once it has found something you can press either spacebar or the uh, the Commodore key uh, which was kind of like the command key, I suppose. And uh, yeah, let's see, uh, there's nothing on the back here. No text at all. Actually, is there any? Yeah, and Firebird always, they, uh, in their, in their, in the game, like, this is the budget line from Firebird, and they would have, like, this big catalog of their games in there. She had to uh, buy more games, you know? And uh, yeah, the 199 is actually the price of the game. Uh, that is uh, pounds. Um, we had guilders, and I'm not actually sure what that was. I suppose about five guilders back then. Uh, maybe a bit less, maybe four or so. I'm not entirely sure. But knowing my parents, they got these out of the budget of the budget bin. <laughs> Let's see here. Hey there! Have you joined the in crowd? Oh boy. <laughs> this was from the 80s, not from the, 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 the 210s. Um, are you a member of the. This is just more. more of their, uh, 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 their thing. Buy our games! <laughs> Get, get into the ink crowd, the game. In each screen, you will be presented with a pattern of gray sticks and bridges. The idea is to help Zen to paint all the sticks blue. Then, using Zen's magic to set the rotex into action, make all the sticks collapse on top of one another. Once all the sticks have been cleaned, you will move onto a new screen. Then there are 
Uh, there are two aliens present in each screen, which, if they touch you, will, will drain 100 units of time from your clock. If, you, if time runs out, you will lose one of your free lives. Um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, those matchstick things. I seem to remember you have to. Um, now I, I, we'll we'll figure it out. I don't really remember it too well. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Because now I don't hear anything, but that's because there's no chat yet, so that makes sense. So, you know, nothing, nothing's wrong yet. Uh, which voice did I actually have? Uh, I think I had this one. So, okay, let's uh, see what we have here. Yeah, fun game. I think this, um, like this box, it, it almost looks like a bear, but it's supposed to be, I think, a mole. Um, I'm not uh, entirely sure anymore, but if you see the original uh, cover art, you will see what it's actually supposed to be. Although it will be drawn very sloppily, <laughs> it's not it's not a great picture, <laughs> but it's one of the best kind of cover arts ever. Yeah, Firebird made a lot of games. Um, and I tend to have a lot of their games, apparently. At least in these uh, small boxes. Like in, when we go on the bigger boxes, uh, there's probably a lot of different brands. Although Firebird also had bigger boxes. So, you know, we'll see. Um, basically anything that ended up into uh, budget bins is what my parents mostly uh, picked up. It's, it's kind of funny because I do remember kind of the loading screen as well. It's kind of interesting, you know. It's the games that you play the most that stick out the most, I suppose. That um, you remember the best. Um, or at least, you know, you get a connection with uh, like this. But uh, I don't remember it lo taking this long because, my goodness, yeah, some games can take a long, a long time. There's also some games which uh, we have not run into. Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, there's also some games where you actually have to load a game once you have died, which is super annoying. Uh, but I don't have too many of those, I, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, this, 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 yeah, I still kind of remember it. Uh, let's see, number of players one, sector A, and F1 is play the game. Let's uh, let's play the game. 1986. Uh, oh, we've already. Started the demo again. It's actually quite a crowded screen when it comes to the um, um, the actual screen here. Uh, and I also keep forgetting, which I should be doing more often, but I keep forgetting, as I say, to actually progress the um, uh, the, <laughs> the game. There we go. So F1. Let's go. F1 does not. Uh, F1 does do something. Okay, so we move. How do we? Uh, okay, so we jump. And by the way, how is the um, the overall quality of the stream? Uh, because last time we had some. Um, I'm not sure if actually it was drop frames or oh my goodness it's picky or if it's um okay that's good to know because last time we had uh, we had a lot of dropping out of uh, um, the stream that was not nice whoops that's uh, that's good to hear awesome Okay, so I think right now I seem to remember you have to now I think no not do this When you're red you can actually use your magic and you can yeah, there we go And now you have to just collapse them all because that's the uh, name of the game isn't it? Yeah, now I remember so if you're yellow you don't have the magic and you can just jump about and stuff and if you press the button you become magic and if you keep your button pressed you can actually add sticks 
and remove them. Uh, and the object is to just go over all of these mastics, make them blue, and avoid the baddies because they eat up your time. And you actually have to press down on them if you are standing on top of them. And yeah, you have to make them all blue and then collapse them. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a puzzle game as well as a platformer. Uh, and I don't know what the crystals do. I suspect they add time. Oh crap. <laughs> Which is uh, probably something I will be needing very much of because I'm not doing a very good time, a very good job here, am I? Uh, let's go. If we go on the middle here, we should be able. Oh crap! Keep the button pressed. Keep the button pressed. There we go. And there we go. Uh, oh, I hear a little thing, which is a. Alert, I think. Those are things, right? As you, as you know, <laughs> I have no clue how this whole streaming business works. Uh, how should I actually collapse these that they go in one one go? Uh, let's avoid these guys. Let's avoid these guys. Guys, guys, get 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 away. Get Can't avoid them. Oh well. How can I collapse this? I think I should re probably remove that middle one there, shouldn't I? Um... Oh, uh, don't go up. Well, now go up because there's a nice crystal here. Is did it at time? I think so. Probably. So, press the button. Keep it pressed down. And remove this stuff. There we go. And now we... Oh, you can also walk on air. Oh, alright. Now I remember. So if I do this and then press down. Yeah, you can actually stun them. Ah, okay. I slowly remember now. Uh, that was not how I planned that. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I did not want to do that, I think. I don't think you can actually stand in nothing. How did that go the wrong way? That is not what I was intending. Anyway, this should go now, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, this is, uh, this is quite hard. But uh, as I said, this, this used to be one of my favorite games. Uh, just a lot of fun. And like um, getting it to actually collapse in one go. That's quite satisfying as I remember it. Um, stay up there. Can I? Uh... Just, uh, it's just an interesting concept and I um, actually I don't know anything that's actually like this um, both modern and retro to be honest uh, it's quite unique I find probably should get that for some extra time um, if I was a bit faster yeah that probably not going to get that anyway But I never hear anyone actually talk about this. Um, so did anyone uh, look up the uh, the art uh, of of the game, the uh, the first? Should I get that? Can I get that? Please, please, please get it. Yeah, like the first um, rendition of the art of the cover. Did anyone actually manage to find that? Because that's just something. Nothing good, but it's something. <laughs> Uh, dude, I needed to go there. And now he comes along. Oh, well, let's just take take the hits. Get away. And we should collapse it. This, this should work, right? No, again it does the thing. Why is it doing that? Did I... I must just add another piece there, which is... Uh, yeah, look, I, I, I keep the button pressed down a bit too long, I think. That's annoying. Maybe it's just a joystick. I, I, I blame the joystick, guys. I blame the joystick. And time's up. Okay, let's uh, try this again. Let's try this again. It's just a bit too finicky. Maybe I should try my original uh, um, 
joy uh, joystick. Uh, it's something that Mark Vergeer mentioned uh, last stream um, because initially I wanted to use the. Uh, yeah, of course you always blame the controls. You can't blame yourself. <laughs> if I, if I do that, I would go na mad because, uh, well, typically no game goes well for me. <laughs> I'm not that great of a game player, so you just blame whatever. Uh, but yeah, initially I wanted to actually play using the uh, Sega Genesis controller, which is a which does work. But as Mark pointed out. The pinout is actually slightly different, um, which can actually lead to some problems as uh, it can draw a bit too much power, which might cause some issues. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually able to blow up your Commodore. It might be. But... Uh, you know, better to prevent than to repair is uh, probably a good. Okay, let's carefully. No, I do it. I did it again. I freaking did it again. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, how do I not do that? That would be nice. Um. Or should I maybe do it in the yellow form? Nope, you can't do that. Uh, I don't know. Can you only have two at uh, at at once? I guess. So yeah, using the uh, the Mega Drive controller in the end was not the best idea, I suppose. And uh, we did uh, run into that one game where we had some issues with. Uh... There we go! I finally did it. Where we ran into some issues where I pressed down, we immediately died. And I think, in, in hindsight, that had probably to do with uh, just using that uh, uh, Genesis controller. So let's let's just not do that anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, then you are left with these uh, joysticks. And, you know, it, it does belong with the Commodore 64. I mean, I, I used to use these all the time not this one but the uh, the red one in the background there um, which is uh, held by Mickey um, but it's just so clicky it's so clicky so you know it makes a lot of noise which is not ideal for streaming I find but uh, I, I think I will actually try it after this game uh, because I don't really like this joystick at all I uh, yeah, it, it, the, the feedback is just not there because there is no uh, mechanical switches in it. But yeah, not having a joystick with a Commodore 64 kind of feels wrong anyway, so probably it's for the best. Uh, so let's see how... Oh my goodness. How can we do this in one go? Ah, I thought he was going below me, but alas. I think if I... Collapse this. It should go in one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. Um, but yeah, I think that's enough of this game. Uh, unless you guys uh, want to see more. Um, but yeah, this, this game. I like it. I never hear anyone talk about it. Uh, actually, for the longest time, I, did, I didn't. It's, it's because I saw the box again. That I actually found out how the freaking thing was actually called. Uh, because I, I've for totally forgotten. And yeah, I, I just don't know why it's so rarely mentioned when talking about the best games for the Commodore 64. Because it's so unique. I really don't know any game like it. Um, it's also something that I, I think, you know, would be something like uh, uh, indie games should maybe kind of revisit should be an interesting thing I think I don't know I like it I still enjoy it and it's from 1986 so why not in a new coat of paint uh, that one is going to cause problems I think so let's get rid of this one 
Uh, you can't actually get rid of the enemies, I don't think. You can only stun them. And I think if you are running into them as they are stunned, you also just take time damage. Uh, this is also one of the nicer things about this game, I suppose. You know, there's no huge pressure. You can make mistakes, which is really great because, uh, well, as we've already discovered, I'm not the best at the games. Uh, so, you know... Uh, I, t I tend to be really, really, really bad at uh, uh, the Dark Souls and the likes. <laughs> Where you have uh, a little margin for error. Anyway, I, uh, I like this game. I think it's time to move on to the next one and explore some uh, something new. And uh, this one actually lets us escape out of it. Oh, and I still... I don't know why I did that. Something about habit. Yeah, Dark Souls uh, and me, uh, <laughs> it, uh, it, 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 it would be, uh, it would be quite, I remember I got, um, like I did some reviews for a website a uh, long, long time ago and I actually got a review copy of uh, Demon Souls, like the first, first one, you know, the actual first one, well, you know, you can even go further back to uh, Kingsfield, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that <laughs> that took me uh, that 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 brought me in such a bind because I kind of wanted to complete it, but my goodness, um, I never managed it. Let's put it that way. But that is one of the one games that I actually did not finish uh, for a actual review, which kind of pains me still but uh, i couldn't do it especially not in the time anyway we are going to a absolute classic we are going for pitfall uh and yeah this one was also not wound back but firebird always had their game on both sides give a go of what ben What the heck is this? Oops. This is kind of funny. Ah, they actually, they, they didn't promote themselves enough in the other games, so they figured, you know, let's just, just have a full leaflet in there. Uh, is this one loading? Is this one finding something? I don't know. I only, there's only, I think it's only listing uh, emoticons now. Oh man, that, that's really crappy. Let's see if I can fix that actually. Oh, I think I, I was a bit afraid I touched something, but uh, no, it's still loading it seems. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything I can do about this chat being so messy? <laughs> Wait, 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 what's this, what's this? Um, try it again. And see if it, uh, if it still does the, the emotion uh, things. Ah, man, it still does it, huh? Uh, okay, so there was no, another option next to it. Don't eat me, cat. Let's see. What's this? Use built-in stream emote. Let's uh, let's turn that off. See if this makes a uh, difference. What what's Mugman? I don't know Mugman. <laughs> So this is kind of interesting because it's a game by Activision, but it's a tape from Firebird. So I'm not sure how that uh, uh, licensing worked. Cuphead. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Cuphead. I never. I've never played it. I've never tried Cuphead because it's. Um, it's. 
it it seems like one of those games that I really suck at. Uh, it it on the Commodore 64 a lot of games came out on cart uh, in the US. Uh, in Europe we mainly you know we were a bit cheaper. We mainly stick to tapes. But most of the time they're exactly the same games. Uh, although of course the Commodore 64 in the US uh, runs at 60 hertz, and the the other um, PAL games of course run at 50 uh, frames per second, which might actually run into uh, some issues during the stream because apparently YouTube doesn't like 50 frames per second when doing a stream. So uh, you know it might look a bit odd now and then but it should be mostly okay especially with these old uh, old games i'm not sure why it keeps making those emoticons that's so annoying <laughs> like all the emoticon options are off I can also try. I can also try to have it read out the emoticons. I'm not sure if this is going to be any better. I didn't read the manual, but everyone knows Pitfall, don't they? Uh, F1 to start. F1 to start. Let's go. And wrong port. Of course. Yeah, we have to get back to port 2 for this one. Yeah, that sounds good, Ben. Sorry. Uh, there we go. It w well, there is enough loading time, which is uh, you know the, the, I, I figured uh, Commodore 64 games made a good stream anyway because of the loading times. Ooh. Ah, crap. Yeah, it does look a bit different, doesn't it? Uh, than the uh, uh, Atari... Ah, crap. Too early. That's the Atari 2600 version. Which is, of course, also a classic. And, of course, the tunage. Uh, how do I get off? Is it down? I guess it's down. As you can see, it's uh, really been a long time that... Ah, oh, crap. The crocodiles are always terrible. Uh, let's uh, let's see if I can do this. Ah no, too fast, too fast. Crocodiles make me make me nervous, man. <laughs> uh, there we go. Ah, actually, I'm going to try out the other. Yeah. Uh, Although the colors being more vibrant, James might also be cause of like the the video input because the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. I've never seen that use RGB. I, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Uh, and the Commodore Sixty Four here is using S video, um, and I've only seen the Atari Twenty Six Hundred with the. Um, Coaxial uh, video, the RF, which which is just not good. Like in, in comparison, it was great back then, but the colors easily get washed out. Ah man! <laughs> and I got landed straight into a uh, what, what, what are those things? Uh, logs? I think they are supposed to be logs, right? Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not too familiar with my uh, Pitfall lore here, um, but Pitfall is, uh, is you know, it's, it's an absolute classic, isn't it? Yeah, I was too slow there, but I'm not good at it, as per usual. Let's try. No, jump forward, damn it! <laughs> Can I collect one, one piece of gold, please? Maybe there's one over here. Nope. <laughs> Oh, now it's uh, now it's just saying emoji. Now that, that that's a real improvement. Uh, 
Pitfall 2 is indeed the better game for sure because it it just does a lot more. Uh, is the chatbot actually on? I I hope not. Um, or or is it? I don't know. I, as I said, I, I I have basically no clue what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Let's see. I don't know what that means. <laughs> No, I use, uh, well, I don't know, uh, I use sheep chat, uh, sheep chat, but uh, that shouldn't have a bot in it, I think. Uh, no, it doesn't. I don't think I have any bots allowed at all. Can I get past the freaking crocodiles? Um, let's just go down here, because um, I'm not entirely sure how this works anymore, but isn't it like if you... <laughs> if you... <laughs> If you go uh, one screen through the bottom, you actually go 10 screens on the top. Ah, uh, you're kidding me. Jungle Hunt is an awesome game. Really fun. This, this, this looks especially like the beginning, but there is a fire there. But yeah, Jungle Hunt, also an awesome game on the uh, Atari 2600. There is also, I think, a uh, Commodore version of that. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, crap. I can't even get one gold lump. That, that's just, oh my goodness. So annoying. But uh, yeah, I haven't played. Oh my goodness. I haven't played Pitfall in, in so long. And I think the last time was actually the 20, uh, 2600 uh, version. Uh, which I do have somewhere, but I haven't seen in uh, quite a few years, to be honest. Okay, one more try. One more try. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Jungle Hunt is, is is just a fun game because it, it, it has a different level. I, I like uh, games where they just make, uh, you know, offer a different challenge per section of the level and where we progress a bit. Uh, what's the one game here as well that did that? Where we're going to? There we go. We had some uh, last week as well that did that. Uh, that's just really nice game design, especially back then. Okay, let's try this. No! Jump forward! <laughs> almost, almost. If only, if only I had pressed forward. Oh boy. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is it. This is not it. This is a disaster is what it is. Oh boy, can't even get one gold in Pitfall. Gonna be the laughing stock oh, of, of all the streamers. Um, you know what? I know where I can get a gold. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a nice design, isn't it? Where the, the life actually falls from the, uh, from the hood there. It's, uh, that's a really neat uh, uh, bit of... Are we getting stuck? No. Okay. It's actually a neat bit of design there. Just incorporating the HUD there. I mean, eat your heart out, Dead Space. <laughs> Dead Space is cool, by the way. It's an awesome game. The first one, at least. Second one was okay. Uh, third one, I didn't bother with. Okay, because I can, uh, of course, get a gold nugget, or at, at least I should, in its sequel, which is indeed a bit better of a game, Pitfall 2. It's kind of funny how fast sequels came out back then. Um, but yeah, this did Im indeed improve. Also a very impressive game on the uh, Atari 2600. Actually offers some music, really cool. Uh, Superman or Transformers? I don't think so. I don't know. Um, 
like many of these games I, I like these are from my past these are my actual collection that I used to play as a kid I know I've picked some up over the years as well um, which the box of which I haven't even found yet um, but I'm pretty sure Transformers Superman are not games that I used to own myself I had to clean them out quite a bit too because my parents used to be avid smokers as I grew up so all of these things were all like coated in a layer of uh, nicotine <laughs> Does it? That's that's pretty impressive. I know a few um, uh, tapes uh, that did have some sampling of voice, uh, like the intro of Outer on Europe has it, uh, which is a terrible game otherwise. <laughs> but you know, some of the games you just play for the shit tunes, don't you? We haven't been too lucky with uh, with actual shit tunes uh, this time, unfortunately. Let's see, um, what does Pitfall 2 say here? Not a whole lot. Travel through... These are... This is really small font, even when zoomed in. Travel through the treacherous cavern and deadly dangers to untold wealth. And then it goes on to into other languages, which I will not attempt to butcher. Well, I don't need to attempt it because it's just basically what I do if I try to. <laughs> But yeah, this is uh, this is such a leap forward from the Pitfall experience, uh, offering quite a big game. The game, you are Pitfall Harry, and you must travel through the treacherous caverns beneath Peru in search of your niece, uh, Ronda. The cursed Raj, uh, Diamond, and Quick Claw, not sure, the cat, uh, and avoid the deadly perils perils uh, that lay uh, in wait for you in Pitfall 2. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not the best reader, but uh, you know, we, we try our best. I almost read a, uh, a N there where there was an R in perils. <laughs> but, uh, which initially made me go, huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, does anyone also know the Pitfall 3D game on the PlayStation uh, 1? This is quite an interesting. Um, like the game itself isn't spectacular, but uh, it has this one. Like it has, it has basically it has Ash from um, uh, Evil Dead. You know uh, wh what's his name? Ah, crap. I'm so bad with name. Uh, ah, come on. What's the guy? What's the what's the guy's name? Campbell. Campbell. Is that right? Crap. <laughs> Oh boy, now I get kicked out of all of the uh, 80 clubs. I never knew there was a pitfall for the uh, the windows, although it's not surprising, to, uh, I, I suppose. Um, yeah, pitfall. What I don't like about pitfall, by the way, or pitfall 2, is that like the graphics are less... They're more, mm, I don't know, you see more of the, of, of, of the screen, but it just looks... Yes, Bruce Campbell, that's the name, thank you. I will, uh, I will give in my um, uh, pop culture pass soon. Um, but like the, 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 I don't know, the browns, the blacks, it's, it's not as interesting, I find, as the, um, uh, the first game overall. Anyway, uh, how do I start? F1? F1. Wow, the music is really quiet. I hope you guys can hear it as well. Okay, so... Uh, avoid the bat. Uh, does this wrap around? Yeah, they wrap around. It's been a while, you know. Uh, ah. <laughs> I thought he was going higher. Oh, I remember now. You get sent all the way to your last checkpoints. Yeah, also, I guess, kind of a first, like these checkpoints. I'm not actually sure if it's the first, but uh, I don't know any games before it that used it. Let's see if I can actually find 
the next switch checkpoint there we go uh it's coming back isn't it oh no this one actually comes back and forth scorpion man let's jump over him let's jump over the hole you can also swim i remember i think uh but yeah let's not uh, let's not go for a swim here yet oh man the frogs they are terrible can you, I, mm, I don't think you can you actually jump over him I'm not sure let's try it nope nope don't try that yeah I guess the Atari version is, is less uh, graphically impressive although the Atari version like the music is there and that I find for the Atari 2600 for that time it was really impressive I find um, because you know uh, the Atari 2600 wasn't known for this cool tunage <laughs> it barely had any okay ah crap yeah it, yeah as I said that tune is just so impressive and uh, yeah in the Commodore version it's really quiet I mean uh, I find And now it, it goes a bit somber. Uh, let's uh, let's just try and go into the hole, I suppose. Uh, I don't wanna... Didn't he have another pattern last time? Yeah, so... Wow, that's, this is so tight. You only have a couple of... Well, I guess uh, two or three seconds to actually get below him. Even in this game I can't get the freaking gold nugget. <laughs> oh man. I mean I I know I used to be able to. No go away, go away, go <laughs> Oh man. I am an embarrassment for all gamers. I am uh not sorry, but <laughs> you have to endure it. Okay. Let's now actually go into the hole and... Nope, can't make this now. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. You just have to walk on! <laughs> wow, he's not very fast in the water, is he? Wow. Yeah, gold nugget! One! One point! Give me one! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I can go to bed happily tonight. <laughs> Oh, there's the eels. Eels make for some good food, but you can't pay them anymore because they've gone super expensive, unfortunately. We already uh, doubled our score. We can't go there? Okay. Okay, we'll go to the right. No problem. No problem. Yet. What are you doing, cat? Can you jump out? I don't remember how you do that. Okay, just walk. Yeah, there we go. He does it automatically. That's cool. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We need more money here. No, we should not drop down. You always get uh, the happy jingle whenever you uh, uh, pick up some gold. And there's a actual checkpoint. Cool. We're actually making progress. Before you know it, we've uh, we'll have completed the game. Yeah, don't 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 hold your hopes for that. <laughs> I've never completed this game. Uh, yeah, that looks like two uh, things I need to avoid. Let's uh, go to the left here. To hopefully, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, but there's no way to go. Oh well. Well, at least we got some more gold. And uh, and there is no uh, there's no uh, vines here anymore. That's also kind of gone, which is kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, don't don't just drop down like a fool. Because there'd be bats. If not just you know floor, which legs and ankles also don't seem to uh, mind it. Or, well, they do seem to mind. They don't like it as much. That's what I should say. Ah, so you need to be on the edge and then press down. Not go too far. There we go. Uh, there was the gold there, but... Man. 
Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. You can? Uh, I did not know that. Ooh, let's. Uh, that that's, uh, seems if. Do you need to collect all the gold? I hope not. I'm, I'm choosing to just ignore that one because I don't want to deal with that bet. <laughs> that one I think we should be able to grab here. Right. Almost dropped down anyway. And uh, let's see what's over here. Oop. And uh, there's another gold pile over there, but again, I don't want to do it. I don't know if you can make it before uh, the bed wraps around the screen again. So let's just not risk it and let's just continue on exploring this mighty cave. Almost dropped down there. Uh, yeah, let's not deal with that. Let's actually go down. Not. Uh, no, I, I'm. Oh, you can! Oh, crap, I didn't want to, I didn't want to retest it right away. Oh, you, you can kind of move slightly, but uh, it's not very fast. Luckily, there's no floor here. Let's see uh, if we can find some more gold. Is there ever gold in the water? I don't know. Yes, there was, because it was the first one we, uh, we, we collected, was there. Uh, don't, go away, go away. There you go, he doesn't go high enough. It's good to know. This kind of art style also kind of reminds me of uh, his boy in his blob, uh, which is not a game I enjoy. But uh, yeah, the, the, the graphical style really reminds me of that. And I guess uh, boy in his blob on the NES got it from this game, I suppose. <laughs> not the other way around. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, it's, it's very impressive that these tapes hold out. I was not expecting this many games to actually load. Oh, they are? Oh, so that's not a big surprise then, is it? There's some interesting designs on the, uh, on the old Commodore 64, and it's also... Did I go all the way for nothing? Don't tell me. Don't tell me I went all the way for nothing. There's also some games that were actually really, really scary. Yeah, I'm not going all the way back, man. We're going for the next game. <laughs> because that took quite a while. But yeah, uh, Pitfall 2, really cool game. Really fun to explore. And uh, But yeah, the vines are gone. You know, you can't play Tarzan anymore. That's kind of a shame. Uh, I lost my train of thought. And the Commodore is being stuck. Let's uh, fix that. Also quite surprised the Commodore is loading anything at all, actually. That is still even playing something. Um, tell you what, I am actually going to take a small break uh, to get myself some water and to uh, put away some water, let's just say it like that, and perhaps also get Griso a, a little treat. Uh, so I will be back in about um, probably two minutes so see you in just a bit
Here we are, uh, <laughs> just as I come on, I hear that, uh, Ben, Ben, do your thing. <laughs> anyway, I uh, got a nice uh, little bit of uh, freeze-dried sweets here for Griso, who is all um, interested in me. Well, here you go, buddy. Dude, easy! <laughs> and he knocked it down himself. Well, that's what you get, man. <laughs> He'll be back for the other pieces. There's still a couple of here. Uh, hopefully not through my uh, my legs, but uh, you know, you never know. Uh, did uh, did the spammer get uh, get rid of? Uh, did you did you get rid of the spammer, Ben? Thank you. Um, you always have spammers and trolls and whatnot, and I, I really need to get some more uh, moderators on there and, you know, uh, help prevent that because uh, there is no prevention, there is just, you know, getting rid of them as they pop up. Why can't you just be... There is nothing else, man. <laughs> this this guy, he's always hungry. Uh, also, by the way, sh sorry for the shadow. Um, there is that's an uh, HDMI cable, idiot. You don't eat those yet. You try to. <laughs> so now he's turned on. Great. And uh, yeah, we well, guess we should uh, get back to some. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, I know. Here. <laughs> this cat, he can't eat normally. I'm just going to give it him uh, on the floor because <laughs> it'll just become so messy. Here you go, bud. It's uh, it's kind of like it's uh, it, it's kind of a, a funny thing for Griso, but uh, it, it's kind of sad in a way as well because he was really like pushed aside in the nest, so he always had to scrunch around for some food, and, and that really it, it, it's it's you know he's always been very focused on food because of that. So um, you know it's it's kind of funny, but also kind of sad how it's uh, it became a thing. But uh, we don't mind. Uh, but he was one of those cats when we still, uh, when when Shake was still around as well. But Shake unfortunately passed away. Um, but Shake, he, he he was he was a big cat and he was just um, always used to get his uh, his way. Um, but he wasn't too focused on food. So whenever you gave them food, uh, this this dude here, he first ate out of Shake's bowl emptied it and then would on go on to his own so you know kind of annoying yeah and chip also unfortunately passed away uh quite a couple of years ago now he managed to get to uh, the respectable age of 15 which you know for a dog for a golden retriever uh, it's it's quite nice but uh it's also always painful when your pets leave you of course it's an unfortunate thing Yeah, yeah, despite, uh, you know, they always go too young, don't they? I mean, uh, would be nice if they could live as long as us. Anyway, uh, oh, I should do that again, shouldn't I? Uh, did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? There we go. All right, I forgot it already. I keep forgetting, that's something I need to get used to, I suppose, but oh well. Um, next game, next game is um, one that I am I know I'm bad at. <laughs> the Empire Strikes Back from Star Wars. Uh, I think there's actually two uh, games from The Empire Strikes Back on the Commodore 64. This one is the conversion uh, of the arcade game, so the shooter. 
which is a uh, really nice uh, vector spectra uh, vector sp graphically uh, um, uh, game in the arcade. Also has some really old-fashioned uh, voice samples, like the old uh, computer voices. Yeah, parrots can uh, parrots can get really old and and really loud. See if this one works. <laughs> you are not going to push down on the run stop button, are you? Just to get more. I wouldn't I wouldn't put past this one. <laughs> Uh, well, it's good to uh, to have a little relaxation in this week. It was a bit annoying. That doesn't look good. Well, you had us, the Empire Strikes Back, of course. Duh. This week was something else. Uh, let's see. The game's official home computer version of the famous Empire Strikes Back coin up. Yeah. Uh, it is on inter an interactive action game for one player. Now the vector graphics aren't going to come out as nice as in the arcade obviously but um, it is, the parrot, the parrot in the murder case, yeah I remember that one <laughs> or at least reading about it <laughs> it's, uh, it's like where did, um, where did the Ace Attorney series get that one from huh? Oh well reality <laughs> Ah, nice rendition. The Star Wars theme here. Um, when Star Wars was still good. The Ace Attorney uh, games are really cool, but uh, they're a bit too much reading for me, unfortunately. But they they have such a great. Um, they are translated so well. They really have a lot of characterization in different characters they really are something else um, but yeah I've played through the first I think two games and then I just um, you know it's just too much reading for me I'm so slow when reading uh, so it gets annoying with the shoot to the head <laughs> there's even a sticker still here from the old store but um, but unfortunately, uh, the price has been removed. It's the only thing that's uh, that's not on there anymore. Go figure. <laughs> I'm always like double-sided when it comes to removing stickers from old boxes. Like part of me wants to make them as clean as possible and just get get rid of the stickers. But also another part of me just thinks like they they do tell the story of the game itself. It's as as it went through its life you know um, the 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 like the uh, where it was bought and how much it got reduced for example uh, although the stickers from uh, like uh, video rental stores they can go straight to hell because those are terrible to get rid of <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of glue they use but my goodness <laughs> they they are not coming off so you know, there's another reason why to just leave stickers on it sometimes, um, especially on cardboard boxes. Like when you have cardboard boxes, don't bother get rid of the stickers because you're just going to ruin the box. And yeah, that's true as well, uh, James. Where sometimes you just have a sticker for a store that just doesn't exist anymore. It's just you know, a piece of history as well in that regard. Um, so yeah, I was kind of double-sided in that. Should I get rid of it, stickers or not? Mm. Usually I just opt for the less work, I suppose. <laughs> I'm, I'm like when a sticker is in an actual cartridge, I am more inclined to actually remove them. Um, so we have loaded. I remember being very bad at this game, but I don't remember actually... Um, huh. That uh, that icon in the in the right kind of looks like uh, the Albert Hein logo, <laughs> but in red. Uh, yeah, we all know Star Wars. 
I've always been more of a Star Trek fan, I have to say, but you know, both franchises kinda became unrecognizable in my opinion. <laughs> How do I start? How do I start? Or is it uh, in the wrong slot again? I think it's in the wrong port again. It's always annoying in the common. Like I used to have uh, two of these joysticks and I would just leave them in both uh, ports so you can just easily switch. Uh, because the power switch is right next to it so believe you me, I have in the past tried to change uh, There we go. I've tried to change ports and then you accidentally click the off uh, switch. Ah, there's actually... Uh, that's not supposed to happen. It went very weird there. Is it actually plugged in now? It's, uh, it's in reverse. That's, that's weird. Although, you know, it's, it's a flight simulator. So maybe it's, uh, it's style. I don't remember. Should have read the manual, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen. Uh, I've, 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 I've seen the the prequels for Star Wars, and um, uh, those didn't really do it for me either. I didn't really bother with the new uh, 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 Disney stuff. Oops. Uh, which one? Which button did the um, did reverse the controls? Oh boy, yeah, the Disney ones don't seem too great. They, they are really keen on ruining some uh, old franchises, aren't they? Unfortunately, but again, yeah, I know I love to uh, be more of a uh, track uh, tracky, but uh, yeah, the new Star Trek series also are. <laughs> Quite disappointing. Oh boy. J on the keyboard, thank you. Let's try that. Uh, did I not hit it? Oh man. Where is the J? There's the J. Yeah! The original series was awesome. The next generation was awesome. I kinda had a hard time, oh yeah, you need to, the cables for this one, but I'm not actually sure how this works because you should go around the legs I wasn't too keen originally on Deep Space Nine, but I kinda came around to it, I just like the Star Trek the Star Trek, I kind of like the exploring aspect and Deep Space Nine did less of that and you know, I was young, I didn't care much for the political uh, things so, you know, I actually kind of enjoyed Voyager over it which is uh, sacrilege, I know The Star Trek movies, you mean? Uh, let's go for easy again Okay, let's uh, let's try this again. Now with uh, some better controls. Yeah, that uh, that TTS is really not making sense out of this. Uh... Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? I, uh, I think this game came out quite nice. I mean, if you compare it to the arcade version, yeah, it's kind of crap, but you know, it's it's uh, the Commodore 64 isn't all that powerful, and it does come across quite nicely. Um, you know, the Star Trek movies I, I also kind of liked. I missed that a mile off. Um, and else? I also liked the uh, uh, the Siri Enterprise. I'm kind of it's kind of shame that didn't last too long. But yeah, now the Discovery is just utter crap, and then Picard is just wow. I did not 
I neither Siri I couldn't uh, I, c I could check out for uh, the um, um, more than the first season and then I had already seen enough let me see if I can actually fix it this is going to actually help but yeah uh, I'm still discovering how the stream and how it all works guys so I'm very sorry for any technical issues that might pop up still just mine inexperience um, there we go we did it oh there's another one of course there's another one um, but yeah I think the VPN was actually was actually uh, messing up the stream there I think not entirely sure I forgot to turn it off which is not smart uh, should be a turbo button I want a turbo button to go fast Oh, when I remove the VPN, it's hiccuping. Go figure. Jedi? Uh, aren't we the rebellion ship here? Not... Not, uh, we, we're not a Jedi, man. We're just a rebel here. With a cause. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to be shot here. Or are we actually playing as Luke Skywalker? I don't know. Yeah, let's blame Star Wars. Or the controls, of course. Always blame the controls. Although now that... Uh, that we can actually move the cursor normally, that uh, that actually helps a lot. Thank you very much for uh, pointing it out that it is J. Yeah, the dark side is, uh, is destroying the stream. <laughs> Get out of here. I think it blew up. Uh, there's another walker. Or were the other things a walker? See, I, I do. I, I like the stuff, but I don't actually know what it's called. I'm a lore criminal. <laughs> the lack of buffering is disturbing. Okay, let's get rid of this guy here. What shows do you guys watch? See anything interesting nowadays? It's still. Did it not come out? It did not come out. I did watch uh, House of the Dragon, which was better than I expected. I mean, uh, the Game of Thrones uh, didn't really end on a uh, on a high note, did it? <laughs> so I was expecting complete disaster. Not watching any modern TV is probably the best decision you can make. Plenty of old crap to uh, to enjoy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You don't don't watch too much news because my goodness, that is so depressing nowadays. It's quite surprising, you know, when you um, when you see the old movies it's so impressive what they used to do and what they can't even do now anymore um, and yeah I didn't see the new Predator I don't know uh, the old Predator is one of my favorite movies for sure really really awesome uh, uh, Schwarzenegger classic of course the second ga movie was kind of okay not too special and then they kind of got crappy with the uh, introduction of aliens And oh, is that it? <laughs> you can tell that I haven't played this game for quite some time, and I'm not too experienced with the arcade version either. I don't think I've act actually seen it in an actual arcade. Um, maybe no, I don't. I think that was before I actually went to arcades. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a very cool conversion, I think. Very fun, but I'm not good at it, which again is not surprising. It's uh, kind of typical. Now the next game is one that I also remember being quite fond of. Yeah, the arcade version is really impressive because of the the vector uh, the vector vector uh, graphics. There we go. 
Uh, and also, you know, the, the, the old speech synthesizer is kind of fun. Anyway, we are uh, now heading off to Park Patrol, uh, which is a quirky game. I don't think this came out on any other system, not entirely sure. It's, I think, also an Activision uh, uh, game. I don't remember too well. I think you just have to row a boat and collect some stuff and it's just a fun little arcade kind of experience. As I remember it. Uh, which we can use and um, let's press play on tape. Probably also not based on anything this time around. So they couldn't ruin it. But yeah, House of the Dragon is actually, uh, I, I, I think it was uh, pretty neat. Quite uh, enjoy it. But uh, as I was saying, like the older stuff, like if you check out now E.T. for example, like with just simple practical effects, it's more convincing than most of the uh, like the new uh, um, uh, adventure crap, which, you know, it's, it's everyone's getting tired of that, I suppose. But it's all green screen, man. It's, it's just there's no actually art in it anymore. It's just such a shame. Like a movie like The Never Ending Story, it's just so amazing. Like, yeah, you, you know it's fake, but you see the heart that went into it. Into creating a, 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 a different world, you know? Yeah, the modern superhero movies, I kind of enjoyed it at first, but... Pfft, I... I wasn't even interested anymore in uh, Endgame and such. It had already uh, lost its, uh, its, its glamour by then, I find. Um, join our intrepid park keepers in this fun filled action packed outdoor caper. That's really descriptive. Uh, let's see if we can actually get to the game because I don't remember how to actually play this one. There is trouble down in... Oh boy, how do I pronounce that? Papatutu Park. <laughs> uh, the old keeper Percy Nutling has had a nervous breakdown and the place has gone to the dogs. You are invited to take up the challenge of becoming the new man or woman. Very... Uh, progressive from back then <laughs> that's up to you in charge of the park as a park ranger you will be equipped with a raft snake repellent and a few morsels of nourishment your task is to clear the litter up watch for swimmers in distress and keep the park wildlife in line Papa Tutu Park <laughs> to the dough is no place for whims and is full of hazards such as swamps, snakes and swimmers who will sink your raft, river logs and food stealing ants. I feel there should have been a period somewhere around that sentence. Oh well. Lastly, ranges may savor the fruit of the mysterious plant located near the supply hut and experience its strange effects. Keep your calories up and move on out. Okay. Going for some uh, sweet drugs here. As we uh, load this. I remember this one being uh, being one of my favorites as well. Just being a fun game. And uh, just, just, you know, being good fun. Not, I think it's not like an arcade board. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So yeah, it's uh, really nice to just have a little uh, sit down here, play some games and just have some uh, relaxing, put my mind at ease. This week uh, at the end I got uh, I got a call where where I got a call and uh, w well, all school heroes. Didn't uh, Cool Cat uh, become a school hero? You know, prevent school shootings? <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> if, you, if you want to laugh then uh, look up uh, uh, what's it called, Mr. Savage. 
He is a uh, he is a filmmaker of epic proportions, all right. What's his first name? I don't know. Derek, Derek Savage, yeah. Um, but yeah, I got a call. Uh, got called back to uh, a bit of my past this week, where um, uh, I used to play in a theater play, and I I, I physically can't do that anymore, uh, unfortunately. But it's you know it's it's a shame. Um, but I actually got called if I was available for. Uh, a play in Switzerland in March so you know it's always when you get pulled back into your past self a bit uh, we just get confronted that doesn't look good uh, with that it's always a bit somber um, where you go like yeah I'd, I'd, I'd really like to but I probably can't this looks a lot like an NES screen like this uh, F1 one player what's the menu do but of course I had to decline unfortunately uh, that's a lot of things. I don't remember this at all. You can actually switch between a boy and a girl. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, also kind of useless, but you know, kind of nice that it's in there. Especially for that time. Um, yeah, there's a lot of options. I, but can we get out again? Uh, how do we... And button to modify and it's of course again in the wrong port uh, for those who don't know usually port 2 is used uh, with Commodore 64 uh, but some less experienced developers decided to use port 1 uh, or later games uh, because port 1 has an issue um, I'm not entirely sure but it has an issue where you can run into some problems um, so it wasn't used initially now later on they did find a fix but then everyone was already so used to using port 2 so they basically said yeah let, let's uh, let's just stick it with port 2 but some newer ones would still um use uh port 2 uh port 1 i mean okay so i don't remember exactly what 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 is what where should I go? Uh, pretty sure that, ah, there it is. I think those things I need to collect. Uh, and I should avoid all this crap. And I should jump in the boat, I think. Not actually walk into it. Walking into boat, not a good thing. Okay, good to remember. Let's get this. Let's jump in. Yeah, there we go. It's coming back to me. Yeah, it's just a very simple arcade-like experience. Um, but I don't think this is an actual arcade game. But it's fun. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, It plays really well, I must say. Still, to this day, it's quite impressive, isn't it? Um, and I hope the clickety-clicks don't make you absolutely mad. Uh, should I pick those up? Is that... That's a swimmer. We don't want to pick up the swim. Is this a thing too? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> when you, when going over the lock, you go flying. Does he need saving? I don't know. It's like he's waving, isn't he? Uh, no. He he pricks your you prick you prick my boat leg. Uh uh. uh what what what's the English word? And uh, I changed to Dutch. Oh. Here we go. There's one. And there's three more to go. There should be three more. And then you go to the next level, which progressively gets harder, as I remember. And it's just a fun little relaxing game. Okay, there we go. We didn't find the fruit yet, did we? And we don't have any lives left. Okay. Cool, they actually uh, changed the uh, music. Oh boy, get out of here. Did he drown himself? Uh, I took note and I tried to um, replicate that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's go another time. It's a fun game, this. It's also, incidentally, the last game. So, uh, you know, uh, after this we will be closing down. Um, because it's also kind of late already, I think. 
Um, last time it, uh, <laughs> it took me quite a while to actually recover from the stream because I was going on a bit too long. And that took a bit too much out of me. Uh, I don't know what those wavy things in the water are, but I don't think they are healthy. Ah, crap. Are those turtles? I think they are turtles. Oh boy. Uh, for the... Well, we're not finished testing yet. I mean, I have a, a whole bunch of uh, other tapes still to go through. But I do also want to try and stream on maybe on Thursdays. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of known as the CDI guy. So I suppose I should stream some CDI stuff as well. And I jumped straight next to the boat. Um, there's some things I am thinking of being able to do to through stream. It's kind of interesting because I thought streaming was real stressful. And uh, and yeah, let's not do Hotel Mario. The, the game is quite hard. Uh, it'll be fun. Oh yeah. I'm not too experienced with the Atari 2600. I don't have the actual system with me and I don't have it modded to actually be captured but you know we could play it through the mister I suppose uh, what I what I want to do is uh, do a CDI stream now and then that that'd be fun uh, I also find that I couldn't easily use this <laughs> I can easily use these uh, uh, this footage for example also to make actual reviews this guy's drowning let's pick him up Where's the last bit? Ah, there it is. Um, but yeah, CDI streams sound like a fun idea. Uh, and of course, Commodore 64 streams where I test uh, more, more tapes. That's just great fun as well, I find. Uh, I also want to try maybe do a stream where I just go through some like suggestions from different systems on the mister. So, you know, that could be uh, Atari 2600 or just maybe do some random games just to experience some more... Um, different games that I'm not too familiar with and another uh, I have a PC as a m I have a PC that's modern <laughs> uh, I don't have a, a switch I don't have a PlayStation 4 or 5 uh, I don't have a uh, Xbox one I don't oh crap I don't have any of that um, kind of just never got to it. I I don't. It's kind of funny, but I don't tend to play a whole lot of games honestly because uh, uh, because my days, uh, you know, they are kind of short. Um, where I can actually do stuff. So you know, I prefer to do actual stuff that's not only games. And I kind of like the uh, uh, the older stuff anyway, partly because they're easier on the eyes. I mean, this is much easier to see than a Assassin's Creed, <laughs> and also easier to digest in general. And we are just going to improve and see how we can actually uh, make things work as we go. Something else that I want to try out is. <laughs> Grisa always needs to be fed. Another thing I want to try on stream perhaps is play some games that I'm not good at, which is quite a lot, but also quite popular and better known for being uh, quite difficult, like games like, uh, uh, for example, Contra or Castlevania. And just try to get through them f with help from the chat, of course, uh, with some tips, for example. Where is that meat in the wall? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm really bad at uh, Castlevania games because I can't control that really well. Uh, anyway, let's uh, see if I can actually get to the second level here and get perhaps even to the third. Ah, crap. And uh, yeah, PlayStation 1, I have a lot of games for that. PlayStation 2, I have a decent amount of games. Of course, I have quite a few games for um, CDI. 
Uh, not all of them. Because some games on CDI are really hard to find. No, get... Mm. Uh, but, luckily, CDI isn't too hard to actually... Uh, ah, I, I did it again. CDI isn't very... Uh, it's, it has zero copy protection, so you can easily... You know, as long as you have the ISO file, you can easily burn it and just play it on the CDI regardless. So that's cool. So you can also play the uh, more uh, oh crap, the uh, rarer titles. Um, because no one should be forced to buy Zelda's Adventure. Let's see, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of uh, games for CDI being cataloged now on uh, archive.com. On, on uh, archive.com, there's a lot of CDI ISOs. I don't. I like exclusivity, but I like exclusivity in the old-fashioned way. What? What killed me? Um, not in the new type where you have exclusivity for a certain amount of times but what I mean with exclusivity is that for example we have two different versions of Aladdin uh, for the SNES and the Genesis and they are very different and they are both good and they are just you know um, it, it actually makes you with those kind of exclusive it makes you actually go like I want to play um, that one whoops and I actually want that game console because it has those particular games and now all the systems are just like the same it's just I don't know it's just a shame uh, I guess only the, the switch has some ah oh, crap actually exclusivity still like you, you don't have the ah uh, oh, crap you don't have uh, uh, Mario on the uh, on the on the uh, uh, PlayStation, not yet at least. So there is still some exclusivity out there, but it's getting rarer and rarer. Um, yeah, and speaking of Aladdin, did you know that Aladdin was actually like the um, the Genesis version was actually also on the NES ported by Virgin. And uh, that game is not very good, it's very ugly, but it is very, very much like the Mega Drive version. In a way, kind of cool that they even bothered to try it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those games that I ended up uh, owning, getting, like very late in the system's life even. I think it's a Paul exclusive actually. Well, oh, crap. Yeah, there's actually two versions on the NES. I think there's also a um, a Brazilian version for Aladdin uh, on the NES. Okay, let's do one more try. One more try. Yeah, that is also the the problem, I suppose, where you know exclusivity. For popular games it can be annoying if it's not there but I kind of like it when you have certain games for certain systems where you actually have a actual identity of a system it's not just all the same so you know should I get a uh, a modern system maybe welcome back Ed but I just don't see the point in it anymore. Like even uh, God of War and such is getting ported now to the PC. Like okay, so w w when is uh, when is Mario actually coming to PC? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem of too many games. As I stated, another reason is just I don't I don't tend to play a lot of games anymore on myself. It's just uh, I don't I don't have too much uh, I don't have energy enough for it unfortunately anymore. 
So I don't tend to stick along with any games regardless. Uh, so you know, I don't see the end screen for a whole lot. Uh, okay, let's uh, wait until these turtles... These are fast bloody turtles, I tell you. Ah. Yeah, Ben did catch the first bot or spammer. I'm, mm, I'm sure we'll have more of those eventually. It's uh, it's an unfortunate thing, isn't it? Everyone uh, has bots, spammers, and such. Uh, that's why I wanted to wait uh, with uh, also starting on Twitch because you know that's just double double the issues. Yeah, I still have the old uh, Famiclone plug and place. Um, most. Um, where's the last things? Most of my. <laughs> Do I sound a shredder? I don't know what. It must be an audio issue. Oh, this guy is drowning here. There we go. Um, where was I? I don't remember. My boat is, has a leak. I don't know what we were talking about. Ah, oh, yeah, the Famiclones. That, of course. Okay, one more time, because the Famiclones came up. Uh, I do have Famiclones. Um, would be fun to sometime do another uh, Name That Ripoff series. Mm, maybe also fun for a stream, because, well, it's not much use to do that with... Uh, um, uh, it's not much use to make a video series out of that anymore because there's no annotation possibilities. Huh, I didn't jump out of the boat now. Uh, oh yeah, I, I also need to collect these, don't I? Those were the ones I was missing. Also, a lot of my collection is with my parents. Um, as my left life kind of crashed down, everything was put in storage and uh, it's, they have like a complete room now filled with crap. And uh, all those Famiclones are in that room of crap. <laughs> so I don't have immediate access to those Famiclones, unfortunately. But I do have some. Uh, I also have a lot of Famiclone cartridges, which are really interesting, actually. It was one uh, a thing that I got into... What, what killed me? It's a thing that I actually got in fairly late. Uh, just before I, uh, I got off of YouTube, I guess. Um... But yes, some of those those Famiclones from China, the actual games they produced, uh, they are quite interesting. Like, if you look up, um, like, let's give an example. Let's, uh, Final Fight 3 for the Famicom. Look it up. It doesn't exist officially, but in China, they didn't have a Famicom, so they made it for the NES. And it is really impressive if you see how huge the sprites are. In that uh, in that game, and there's many games like that, like Tomb Raider. You've got that on the NES, and uh, Diablo, and uh, another cool example which most people should probably know is um, uh, Final Fantasy VII has a pretty cool port on it, which which actually works surprisingly well. Uh, although there's a lot of different versions of that one, um, but yeah, I've got some of those. Uh, uh, official uh, unofficial cartridges and they are really cool to go through as well yeah and of course there's a, about a bazillion Pokemon <laughs> clones <laughs> and yeah those annotations they, uh, they used to be cool you know but now it's all we need to make it accessible for the uh, mobile market to just get rid of all the crap that's not supported on that you know could be there for the people who do want to use the uh, desktop um, to watch YouTube, but nah, let's not do that. Let, let's, let's also get rid of the dislikes to protect our producers. Oh, I feel so protected now that um, people can still dislike a video and I'm the only one who can actually see it. I don't actually get any dislikes, but uh, you know, don't, don't feel ashamed to do if you don't uh, like something. Which is asking for trouble, I know, but... <laughs> 
you know, it's an indication to know how you're doing, isn't it? So I don't understand why they got rid of that at all. The, the, the reasoning makes absolutely no sense. Ah, crap. Yeah, there is a plugin. You, you can use them. Uh, you can you can view them, but that's kind of dis debatable because what the plugin actually does is kind of makes a new listing. So you can only see the dislikes from people who have that plugin, not from other people. Showlands Road. Well, there's also Shell Lynn's Road on the Cam Commodore 64. That That's kind of better. Anyway, guys, um, I think we're going to round it out here because... Uh, what time is it? Yeah, it's already plus nine. Let me actually put here. Yeah, I don't, I don't get all that being too scared to offend and such. Uh, I mean, I get it. You don't want to. I think intention is always very important to keep in mind when you deal with people in general. Are they out to hurt you, or are they out to give you tips on how to become better? Uh, and a lot of people seem to have forgotten how to differentiate between that, and they just get offended about about everything, and that's a shame. And also, if something someone doesn't say something mean about you like <laughs> uh, I, I, I was raised with a uh, being handicapped so yeah I got teased a lot um, and yeah some things can hurt but on the other end you know if you call it an idiot because uh, they think you're stupid because your eyes are all wobbly uh, that says more about them than me you know um, and it, it takes some time to get uh, you need to really learn that, I suppose, uh, and a lot of people don't learn that anymore. Of course, when they started to actually throw rocks at you, then, then you have a bit of an issue, especially if you don't see them coming. But <laughs> um, In general, words don't tend to hurt as much, but you do need to learn how to actually deal with that. And uh, especially if you put yourself out there online like this, uh, you will get some hurtful comments and it, it uh, yeah, um, be prepared for that and know how to deal with it and just let it flow off you, you know, it, it, it's, it's okay. It says more about them than it says about you. The moment that you are starting to think about it and let that stuff live, you are just agreeing with them. And yeah, there's a lot of trolls. Anonymity, anonymity does bring out the worst in people, unfortunately. It, uh, it's, uh, it's an unfortunate thing about the online life. But uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of an advantage. And when growing up in, uh, in times where there was no online life yet, where you did get teased a lot for just being a bit different. Because, you know, you get to learn the hard way. Um, also helps that my mother has the same thing going for her as well. So she taught me a lot of things in that regard as well. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to call it quits here in just a bit because uh, um, yeah, we've, we've been going over two hours and uh, I can feel that I'm starting to get a bit tired, uh, which is not surpri too surprising, I suppose. Even Griso buggered off to who knows where. Probably hunt some more uh, food. <laughs> so he does. It's quite surprising that he didn't actually find the tube and decide to uh, break into it. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, guys, for uh, sticking with me here and uh, just hanging out. It's really fun. Um, I will do this again probably next Sunday, and I will try to maybe do this on. First day for a CDI stream, but again, uh, I hope either Ben or Ed uh, can come on as some backup for uh, for Twitch and and see if we can get that rolling as well um, for whoever prefers to watch on Twitch. Anyway, really glad to hear you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I'm still very nervous. I'm still very new at this, um, but you know, as you try, you get better at it. So you know, it's a learning experience. 
and it's really 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 cool to see that some people are already tuning in and just checking it out so thank you very much for that um, and just to know that I will always try to stream on both YouTube and Twitch so it's just a convenience thing like you can choose where you prefer to watch I don't care about the monetization don't don't care at all uh, that I can't monetize on Twitch because they also want exclusivity I think uh, not bother with that I'm not doing this for the money I'm doing this just to have fun have something to do and you know build my life up a bit because uh, I went through a lot of uh, crap in the recent years and this really helps me uh, get things on reels in some capacity again, you know, and give me something to do again. So really thank you for you guys that you are already with me here and uh, just uh, um, indulge me in that. <laughs> so that's really awesome. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go to bed <laughs> because I'm really tired and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. And until that time, take care, guys. And uh, until next time, see ya. Bye bye for now. As I always say at the end, the muzzle. <laughs>